so now as we can see the protest in the north has turned you know violent in the sense that they are, they are looting see people looting police sign board <laughs> you know um i've i'm seeing a video that they allege that the house of Ilomica is is they set it ablaze you know so even though i am not um in support of violence right i'm talking i'm looking at cause and effect here so you should understand that poverty and illiteracy are, are very high in northern nigeria if you've stayed if you've lived in the north you'll know this i i served in zanfara state i was there for about two years you know and i used to always go and come after my youth service so i know that poverty is real the majority of people are really poor and they are not educated so poverty and illiteracy mixed together what what do you expect what do you expect at this point in time now the bad governments where we are shouting they are feeling it more because normally generally incomes are really low in that part of nigeria right standard of living is really low and then you now increase standard of living to what it is today how do you think they are coping and with the high number of illiterates and the level of poverty they will get violence it's just it's 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 cause and effect and this is because the northern elites and probably other external forces through religion are intentionally keeping northern nigeria that way it's intentional the poverty and literacy is just intentional and so when other parts of the country are protesting like we in lagos protesting and we are peaceful the guys in the north would definitely not be peaceful because the way they think majorly and the way we think is not even the same so yes them being violent at this point in time is cause and effect is, is the effect of the poverty illiteracy and then the current hardship put together what do you expect that will come and be singing holding hands and singing kumbaya ya, ya, kumbaya no no i think we need to start looking at issues these issues in the country like really you know we need to start looking at them deeply it's crazy